Hello there, and welcome back to the Impact Zone podcast. We're back to talk more TNA wrestling trends. I know we've got AEW stuff up here on the screen, but we are talking about the AEW releases and which of them are potentially TNA bound, because as always, it is one of those things where you cannot say for sure where these guys are going. Some of them might be going uh, to New Japan, or some of them might be going back to the Indies, or whatever, or some of them might be going to WWE. Who knows what some of these guys are going to do or whatnot uh, for now. But we will have a look at some of these guys and uh, have a discussion about some of their potential in some of uh, in in TNA. Um, uh, now, I'm not very familiar with all of these uh, people, so the ones that actually have like their name against them. Like, that actually helps me out because, like, I don't know every single one of them. Uh, I know, like, I knew Stu Grayson, but, like, the rest of them, I, I think uh, Parker Bordeaux was, like, the, one of the few ones, other ones that I kind of knew uh, in this list. But, yeah, kind of didn't really know very many of the other ones. Uh, I'm not going to go into the circumstances too much of their release. That's not really my uh, concern or whatever, unless it's like a concern with what's going to happen with TNA uh, regarding the boys, uh, uh, which is uh, Brent and Brandon Tate. Uh, that's that tag team. Um Apparently they were missing dates uh, and not no showing, uh, so that is a potential small issue. So I guess I'll just start with them uh, in this regard because we're already so I'm already sort of talking about them, but um, yeah, like that could be for any number of reasons, either them not being used or whatever. So yes, it's unprofessional not to turn up. And whatnot, but when you're not being used, it's kind of like, well, why are we turning up if we we pretty much know we're not going to be used type thing. So I could see why they might not have turned up, but again, we're not going to really dive too deep into who's and what's and where's and you know conjecture and that kind of thing. I don't really specifically care what um, what they did or what they didn't do or whatever else i'm not really that concerned about it like if tna brings them in and uh says you know we're actually going to use you or whatever and you're going to have a program or we're going to do this with you or that with you or wh whoever it is again whatever it is but you've got to turn up you know like their understanding of well if you're not here well we can't do anything with you you know uh, and uh, we will release you very quickly if you're, you know, not here and not fulfilling your contractual obligations and whatnot. And yes, again, we have to contend with the whole, well, will Anthem actually sign anyone or will they just keep on the track rolling and hope for the best? I don't know. But uh, yeah. Yeah, it is one of those things. But as I said, the boys, like, TNA needs more tag teams, so I wouldn't mind. I don't really know much about them, uh, like I say. So um, if they are unprofessional and don't turn up and do that kind of thing, then obviously that is a big thing. Uh, that's the only ones that I've actually heard anything specifically about thus far. Um, so I don't really know much context behind... Uh, many of the other other uh, performers here. Like, I don't even know which ones are which uh, for the most part. Like, uh, I know which one Gravity is, obviously, and I know which one Par Parker Bordeaux is, but I don't know which one is Jora Jewel. I don't know which one that is. Uh, Rose the assist, uh, Assistant. I guess that that's this guy in the uh, suit there. Anthony Henry, I don't know who that is. Dasha uh, Gontelez, uh, I'm sorry if I'm butchering uh, that name. 
uh, which is Dasha Kurnt or Kurnt here, or listed over here as Dasha Kurnt, uh, I believe. Uh, uh, Slim J, Anthony Henry, uh, yeah, and Parker Bordeaux, Jorahu. Yeah, that's that's all of them. Stu Grayson, Dasha, The Boys, Slim J. Uh, I guess these are, yeah, I'm guessing these are somewhat in some order of some sort. Maybe, I don't know. Does that make sense? This is Stu, that's Dasha, The Boys, Slim J. Slim J is is this guy, I'm guessing. Maybe. Maybe that's Anthony Henry, because that's Gravity, Josie Assistant, Parker Bordeaux, and Jorah Jahul. I'm not sure. So again, if you guys know like that's wrong or whatever, like this is Jahul or that's Jahul, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know many of these stars because they're smaller name guys for the most part. Um like, Stu Grayson, I think, like, is probably the only one that I really know. Maybe, like, Gravity looks like a cool dude, honestly. Um, but we'll get into, get into, like, <laughs> get into more of that in a minute. I, I think Stu Grayson wouldn't be a bad fit in TNA. I don't know exactly what they do with him, really. Because uh, there's a lot of guys in TNA right now, really. Uh, so do they really need him? I don't know, probably not, uh, but he wouldn't be bad there. It's never bad to have a few a few extra hands on on the uh, roster and whatnot, so it wouldn't be bad. Um, yeah, it's always somebody else to have stories and matches and whatnot with, so yeah, I don't think it would hurt um, to have him. He's got a decent name, he's got a decent following, so I think that wouldn't be a too bad of a pickup. The boys, as I sort of said, um, I think they could be a decent pickup for the tag team scene. Um, Dasha, I think she'd be great for the knockouts division if she's not just an announcer. It looks like she's kind of an announcer or something. Um, but if she's just an announcer or whatever, uh, still, they, I guess they could find something for her to do. Um, like, I know Parker Bordeaux, but I don't think he'd fit very well in TNA or he'd be worth the time. Um, like, so, yeah. Uh, Gravity, I, like, I was sort of halfway talking about him for a second there. So I think Gravity kind of looks cool. I have, Like I said, I have, don't know very much about these guys or some of these guys at least. Uh, but I think Gravity... Looks like a perfect fit for the X Division. You could certainly slit, slot him in there and do some do some cool stuff with him. Um, Joe's the assistant. Uh, um, I'm thinking like he could do some stuff. He could be like an announcer or a, you know uh, an interviewer or you know just a sort of an authority figure or even a manager perhaps. Um, so he could be good. Um, like this guy, I, like I say, I don't know who this is. This could be uh, Slim J or Anthony Henry or even Jora Johul. I don't know. Um, so if somebody knows, yeah, I'm sure somebody knows the saying, how come you don't know who this is or whatever? Because I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't watch AEW. Uh, <laughs> especially like I don't watch these lower, lower guys. Um, so, uh, but yeah, he looks kind of like he's got, he's got something, he's got something going on. Uh, so he kind of has that look. Um, and that's, that's, that's like one big step. Like if you don't have a look, it's really tough, um, to sort of start getting going. Like you need to look like you've got some confidence or you're a badass or, you, you know, you can you've got something to work with rather than just being you're there. Like this guy, I don't, I don't know who this guy is. Like I say, he doesn't, he doesn't look like much. Uh, so I don't see much in him, especially since I don't know who he is. Um, so yeah, this guy, uh, again, not horrible from what I'm like looking at. Like, I don't want to disrespect these guys or anything, but I'm just saying, 
like based on me not knowing anything about them and just like looking at them like probably not uh he's kind of got a uh senshi low-key kind of vibe to him though maybe so maybe you could do something with him but like I don't know, you you'd might need him to team up with this guy to have him with a manager and have him with a mouse, mouthpiece or something. Um, this this guy I don't think, you know, really fits in uh, in the company. I don't really think they've got space for, for, for this. Um, but, yeah, like, that, that's one of those things, like, if you don't sort of exude some sort of presence, it's hard. So who, if I was like to the top three, would be Stu, uh, Dasha. I'd, I'll count the boys as one because they're a tag team. Gravity plus maybe uh, Jose. So the rest of these guys can uh can probably be forgotten about for the most part um you know unless they're really interested so the these ones Stu and dasha the boys gravity and the assistant guy those guys seem like they could do something in tna um uh, just because of their look or just because of like i know Stu is pretty decent and uh I actually know his name and <laughs> know what he's all about. So, um, or most of what he's all about. But still, like, I think, like, a lot of these guys do have potential. And it's not like you can't, but you shouldn't always just pick up every single star. And you obviously can't. Like, Parker Bordeaux, he was in WWE. I think he was, was he in NXT? I can't remember. I know he was in WWE for a little bit, but... I don't really think he did, like, a lot of these guys, like, I, I think we're in WWE, um, maybe, I'm not too sure, uh, that's what they seem to do, they seem to get a lot of ex-WWE guys, uh, and they're seeming to get rid of more, even more of their, you know, young indie talent, um, that they've been getting, uh, which is most of these other guys, except for Parker Bordeaux, probably, uh, even the ones that might have been to WWE or whatever. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, I could see, like, some potential for some of these guys. It's whether Anthem decides to bring them in and what they decide to do with them in in the in TNA. Because, again, you can't have... You can't have too much going on, but you also need enough going on to sort of keep people interested and intrigued and you know keep things uh keep things going and, and like if you bring in somebody like perhaps Stu Grayson to team with like Cody Rhodes uh Cody Dina rather sorry um that could be interesting because he's he's kind of almost kind of looking for a tag team partner I think he needs a tag team partner um so yeah, I, I think that could kind of work out pretty well. That would be kind of interesting. Um, yeah, even if it's just for one night, that would be kind of kind of cool. Or even if it's Santana. Well, no, that could be uh, <laughs> even better. We already talked a lot about Santana, so I'm not going to go over him uh, and what he's uh, what's going on there. Um, so, But these guys have all been uh, released uh, I'm pretty sure from what we've been told that they're free agents straight away. Um, so they uh, TNA could pick up some of these guys. Obviously, they've got to contend with um, WWE and to some small extent New Japan. But if the if like some of these guys want to work New Japan dates and TNA dates, I'm sure TNA won't uh, won't cough and won't die and say no, you can't do that. Um, so, but yeah, that would be who I would be interested in if I was uh, TNA and Anthem to get into the company, just looking at what the company kind of needs um, and uh, who kind of exudes something that I think, you know, would or would or something that, you know, is worthwhile putting into 
the company uh, at this point. Uh, yeah. But obviously, again, if they're asking prices too high, then maybe that's <laughs> that's another issue. Like they could they could offer some of these guys contracts, but if they just say, nah, we want, you know, twice that much or might not even be, you know, so uh, outrageous, but, you know, uh, still they might say, well, no, I, we don't think you're worth that. So, no, <laughs> you know, so that that sort of kills a lot of things sometimes when, or even like if it's just a one-off or something, you know, you start going, well, maybe, I don't, we don't know. But I think like uh, any of these guys could be, uh, that I sort of mentioned could be good stars in 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 TNA and do some do some interesting stuff. But again, you guys can let me know what you guys think and also tell me which who's who and who's what and where's what. Um, I don't really know, like I said. Um, so you can let me know how silly I am for not knowing who these guys or some of these guys are or whatever. Uh, but yeah, uh, and you can let me know what you thought of this one. Hope you have enjoyed either way and hope you will join me again in another one.